Hi, uh, my name is Blessing. I'm from Nigeria. I'm a lesbian. Um, I'm a stud. I came over to the United Kingdom when I was um, 17 and upon getting here life was really difficult as well because I was illegal and I had to try and get myself legal so I can call the United Kingdom my home. Um, I was able to go through the asylum process um, which um, took a lot of time. I was really stressed out, I was depressed, I lost a lot of weight. You know, I felt I would never get my asylum, but with time, I, I was able to get it. And after getting it, I was really happy. It felt like I've won the lottery and I've got my golden ticket. I feel really free. Um, I was going through a series of emotions that I can't really explain. And the fact that not having to go back to Nigeria was a relief for me. You know, I can finally call here my home. But... After all the celebration, it's like back to reality and um, well, where do I start from? I came here when I was 17, I've got no work experience, I have average education, I've got nowhere I can call home, I don't have a flat of my own and I have to work to get in all of those things but it was, um, it was really difficult and um, I have to pay bills just like everyone else. Um, I was, I, I think I'm one of the lucky asylum seekers to be honest because I was able to get my flat and upon getting the flat the place was really empty. There was there was literally nothing in here. I didn't have no fund to furnish it. You know I had to sleep on the floor and it's amazing how all, all of this never occurred to me when I was going through the asylum process. Immigration was like the biggest obstacle I had to overcome in my life so after that it was like wow okay <laughs> I have to start leaving um, I, I, I was close to unemployable because like I said I've got no work experience um, if I apply for a job with um, 200 other people they're likely to pick them over me because they've got experience they've got education so I have to overcome all this all these obstacles. I'm still living the life right now. It's still difficult for me to get a job. I've had um, jobs in the past, but currently I'm not working. And like I said, other asylum seekers never think about life as a refugee. Because when you get that ticket, when you get your refugee status, it doesn't come with money for you to start your life, you know, start afresh. You don't have the, fa the support of your family here to help you. There's no one to turn to. If you get kicked out on the streets because you're in arrears, you're by yourself. If it's difficult if you're back home and you've got your family, you can move back into your family home. Or you can you can you can stay with friends. I've got friends over here that are able to help me out, but you know you can't keep going to people to help you. You have to stand on your own. Um, I've got dreams. You know, I was a gymnast before I came here. I was a gymnast for ten years, and I'm really passionate about fitness. One day I would like to own a female um, gym of my own. Um, hopefully, if that's possible. One good thing about me is uh, it's really difficult for me to say no to people in need because um, other people have helped me out in the past, like mostly strangers, and they're people I can now call my family. I'm a fighter, I see obstacles and I look for ways to overcome them, you know, I don't let it pull me down. Even if it pulls me down, I always find a way of getting up. I've been fighting for my life, you know, right from birth, you know, I've been through a lot. I went through a lot in Nigeria, I'm still going through a lot here, but I am here in the UK, I call the UK my home, even though life isn't easy as a refugee, you know, I've got a lot of obstacles to overcome, so... I need to keep working at it and I hope to overcome all of them one, one day. <laughs> yeah. Don't get frightened. Never give up.